state your name and organisation. So we'll kick off just by asking Simona how her preparations are going today. Well, um, I just arrived yesterday and today I had the first practice here. I feel good and I feel uh, happy to be back because I didn't play since 2019, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, Joseph Regal, tennis head, welcome back to Wimbledon, Simona. Thank you. Um, it's a tradition here that the defending champion opens play on centre court each year. Uh, you didn't get the chance to do that in 2020, uh, you didn't get the chance to do that in 2021, and after Ash Barty retired this year, Wimbledon chose to put um, Eager um, to open play on centre court on Tuesday. Um, not that Eager doesn't deserve to, that honour, she's world number one, um, but how upset are you about not getting the chance to take part in that tradition? Well, upset is too much to say, but um, I can say that um, I feel sad that I missed it because um, I was injured, so I couldn't uh, really take the chance. Uh, it would have been very nice to open the tournament, but my chance is gone. So uh, probably in this world, in this life, I can have another chance. So I will uh, look forward to that. Hendricks with the Associated Press. Yeah, I was going to say, it's very simple, just win the championship Not that again. simple, but we, <laughs> I'm going to work for that. <laughs> where, uh, where is your health and your game right now and your mind? How would you say you're feeling as Wimbledon gets ready to start? Well, I feel good. I feel better. Uh, day by day, I'm improving. Um, healthy. Now I recovered in two days, so it was enough uh, to recover the neck. Um, I feel confident. I had good matches uh, last week on grass, but on grass you never know. So um, I'm just uh, looking forward for every day. I practice here and um, to get in shape, to get the feeling of the court. Now I have a connection with the court because in 2019 I played really well. So I have great memories and um, I have a, you know, a feel that um, I can play well on grass. But you never know. So I'm just going to take day by day and uh, I'm looking for already for the first match. It's going to be a, hopefully a good one. Um, can I just ask you about Emma Raducanu, um, obviously. What's her standing like in Romania? Because her dad is half uh, in Romania. Um, so what, what's her like standing in, in Romania? Well, um, many people were following her when she won US Open and um, I feel like uh, the country was happy for her uh, and her being half Romanian means a lot also for the Romanians. Um, yeah, many kids were following her and uh, I think she inspired many kids in uh, back in Romania. So I, it's a good thing for the for our country. You nearly played each other twice last to the end of last season. Have you ever hit with her or have you spoken to her at all? No, we didn't hit. Uh, we tried once, but didn't work. Um, we speak just a little bit, uh, but we don't have long conversations. So, um, no, we are not friends. We are just colleagues on the tour. Yeah. Hi, Simona. Matt Futterman from the New York Times. After you lost at the French Open, Patrick posted a very interesting statement about how it was all his fault and he expected more from himself and he needed to do better. Did you know he was going to say that publicly? And I'm curious how you felt about it. And did you feel like he 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 wasn't up to your standards or wasn't doing his job as well as he could have? Good question. Very good question. Um... <laughs> I <laughs> This is a good one. He's, he's pretty special. Uh, well, In America, we would say, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, no, I, I would not say that he was not uh, good enough, like he wrote in the post. Um, I was just panicking during the match and uh, I didn't uh, handle very well the pressure. Um, I didn't know that he's going to post. Uh, he doesn't let me know what he posts. Um, but I was, uh, yeah, surprised, shocked that he did that uh, that post and he took everything on him. Uh, but it was not on him. It was me that I was not able to 
you know, to do better and to actually calm down myself when I panicked. But it was new for me as well, and um, I was not good enough. But we are much better than uh, that day, after that day, and uh, we both probably learn some things about each other. And uh, now we're going to handle much better situations like those. Willie Weinbaum from ESPN. So what is it at this stage of your career that you most want from a coach? Because you've had a couple, of course, and very successful coaches. What are you seeking from a coach, and how has it worked out as you've prepared for Wimbledon? Well, um, honestly, I didn't expect uh, to have this chance to work with Patrick when uh, I went to his academy, but I'm really honored to have him in, uh, in my team. He's a great coach and he has a lot of experience. He worked so many years with the best player in the world for a whole time. So the pressure is there that I have to be good. Uh, but he, he gives me time. He, he's patient and uh, he's supporting me in everything I do. He tries to understand me because I think this is uh, the main thing that I want from a coach to understand me because I am pretty emotional most of the time. So, um, yeah, he's doing great on that, and um, I feel I improve. Even if I didn't win much, I feel we need time to know each other better and um, to be able to put in practical everything he tells, tells me. So it's not easy to do it right away, but I'm sure and I'm confident that uh, with hard work, I will be able to do what he, he tells me. Rackham Magazine, you got a tough first round draw uh, against Mukova. Just your thoughts on preparing for, for that match and that challenge on this surface, especially, which she, she also likes. Yeah, uh, it's um, a very tough uh, first round. Uh, I know that she's playing very well. I know her very well. So um, it's going to be a big challenge. I mean, I have nothing to lose. Um, this year, I said that I will give myself time to improve as much as possible in what I uh, what I have to. Last year was the most difficult year, so I'm just trying to enjoy. And um, every time I step on the court, uh, I believe that I have my chance. So I'm going to fight for it. Hi, Simona. Molly McElwee from Daily Telegraph. You've had a lot of change within your team in the last um, few weeks, months. Obviously, Patrick coming in, but also just your, your, your wider team. I just wondered, um, what kind of the motivations behind that was at this point in your career, wanting to kind of freshen things up? I just wonder if you could comment on that a bit. Well, uh, after uh, Doha, I felt like um, I cannot do this anymore. I was pretty down. Um, I was exhausted. I didn't believe that I can go in the. T I, be I can be in the top again. So I felt uh, really down. But then I went to his academy without thinking that uh, I might work with him. Uh, because he was with Serena, so it was, uh, was really impossible to think about that. But the vibe of the academy, all the kids from there that uh, were at 8 a.m., they were on the courts and uh, like working hard and that desire to, to be in one day a champion got me back and uh, got the fire back that I still can play tennis and I still love it. So that's why I'm here today, because of that vibe, because of... Um, going to the academy and because of meeting Patrick who told me that uh, he really believes that I can go back. So now I believe and uh, I work hard to to see if I'm able one day to be back in the top. Simone and Nick McCarville Wimbledon uncovered. Uh, you had that panic attack or, or the, the moment in Paris. How do you reflect on it now a few weeks later? Is there something that you feel like you've learned from it and the way that you handled the situation in the moment and then thereafter? Yeah, I think um, that was a good experience for me. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again because I didn't like it. Um, it was coming from nowhere because I was leading the match, probably just the pressure of the tournament and um, the fact that I struggled last year. So I didn't know, I didn't believe that I'm strong enough probably. Uh, but now um, I feel stronger and I feel that if it's going to happen again, I will know how to handle it. It's never easy. I, it, Like I said, um, I didn't have uh, panic attacks on court before, so uh, it was really tough to handle it. But lately, everyone, I think, goes through this uh, with all the situation in the world. So I will not be hard on myself that I was weak in that match. Uh, I just take it as an experience and uh, as a lesson. So next time I'll be better. Two more questions in English. Um, Hector Nons for the Sportsman. 
Um, you, you've achieved huge things in this sport. Obviously, number one, you've won slams, many titles, and a, a bit of money along the way as well. If it all finished tomorrow, would you be entirely satisfied with what you've done, or do you really feel that there's perhaps one or two more wins you'd like to, big wins you'd like to get before you before you call it a day? If I'm forced to stop tomorrow, I am very satisfied with everything I've done, but I don't want to stop. <laughs> so. Um, I'm not thinking about that. I th I feel like uh, I can improve more. I can uh, be a better person, a better player on court. So I'm looking forward to, to do that. Uh, but with all the results that uh, I've done lately in uh, those 10 years almost, I'm very satisfied and happy with the way I've been. Uh, I wanted to ask about two things strongly associated with Wimbledon. One is center court. And if you remember the first time you were in there and what stood out about it? Then? I was trying to remember when I came here because I knew I'm, I'm going to be asked. Uh, but I cannot remember. I remember um, matches, but I don't remember my first match on it. But the last one was more important, so it's good. <laughs> and, and the other thing I wanted to ask about was the all-white clothing and wh what you think of that. Do you... Uh, wish maybe there could be a little more creativity or, or no. do you like the, the I love, tradition? I love white, all white here and I feel like uh, this also makes this tournament uh, special. So 100% for all white here. I'm sorry, I'm going to switch languages now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.